Okay. Okay, so I restarted it because nobody could hear what I was saying and the connection was super shitty. So here we are. Um, we're back. Um, and waiting for Paul to come back. So. Can like you guys hear me now? So. <laughs> now we just gotta get Paul back. And then we should be good to go. Sorry about all that crap from the last one. I like I it was a bad connection. Now it's like play the waiting game for Paul. <laughs> Paul, where are you? I'm live, yeah. Um, there's just a whole mess going on. I'm gonna have to call him. Um, and I don't know. I talked to him today, and um, kind of pretty much the same thing he said on the live that uh, there's this guy that this guy named Blake and. Uh, he has, like, he has, like, a crush on Karini, and, um, he wants to have her babies, and, uh, he's been, like, trying to get Karini over his house, and they've been having drinks together. Oh, that was her personal trainer. Well, it looks like Michael, <laughs> Paul, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna strangle him. Hold on. Yo, everyone's waiting for you. We're live. Come in the room. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay, that was Paul, and he should be here shortly. So, like, I wish I had like cold music. Sorry, sorry, everybody. But I really want Paul to like explain it. I I don't want to like. I want him to talk, and oh, there he is. Okay, here we are. There he is. Okay, can you hear me now? Can you hear yep, me now? Yeah, a lot better now, yeah. Okay, so what's going on? Now that we I mean, originally, I, I, this whole guy I was talking to her before we got married, you know, I had concerns. He video called her, and then when he video called her, I answered the video call, and he was, you know, kind of, it, it called in it pretty quick. Then whenever he met her in person, he wanted to meet her alone at the bar. I said, no, if he's your friend, you can have friends, no problem with that. Let's well, so go meet the bar together. Well, he's real nervous that I was at the bar to meet her with him. So I met him fine and everything else. And he acted like he just wanted to like, almost like he just wanted to be on television or something. That's all it really was how like. Long, so really how long has he like ha been in the picture? Like how long have you known him and how long? He's been, been uh, talking to her. I caught him back when we, before we got married. So they've been friends before we got married. And like I said, when I met him at the bar, you know, I thought they just wanted to be like on TV or something. That's all it was. Then like we went out to eat at Denny's one time. So we're there at the Denny's and we got, a lot of people recognize us in there. And we're eating. He's like, hey, can I, I want to take Karini back to my place, have a few drinks, and then I'll bring her back and you can take her home. I'm like, no, you don't take my wife back to your Who house. Who is he, Robert Redford? Who says like, that? What? What? That's no. Denny's no less. I mean, like, no, no. It's just like, no. So, you know, I, I, I try to go with her. So then, you know, she told me she felt uncomfortable because he was talking about wanting to have a kid with her. And then it was almost like, you know, if we were like swingers. I'm like, no, we're not swingers. And I, I really don't like the fact he's talking about wanting to have a kid. That's weird. That's really, really weird. So then what happened was, um, 
she went to go to tattoo. And I had Pierre. I was sitting here, Pierre. Well, Pierre was hungry. Pierre is, needs breast milk. I tried bottles. I tried food. She's like, try this, try that. I tried bottles, tried food, or everything. He's like, Green, he, he wants breast milk. I was, uh, I was on the way to go get her at the tattoo parlor. Said, no, no, I'm already done. I left. It's like, you left the tattoo parlor? I was like, yeah. And so I found out she was with Blake. She went back to Blake's house. She came back later that night, um, finally. And uh, it was just like, why would you do that? And that you was know? last night? Yeah, I think it was like the, the last night, the night before, something like that, just real recently. I was like, you just literally went over to this dude's house and just stayed there for a random amount of time. And I already said I really don't like you around because you don't want to have a kid with you. I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. Uh, she's, of course, told her parents and everybody they're just friends. Okay, friends don't sneak around behind the husband's back. Don't let the husband be around them. Don't, you know, sneak it, you know, try to do drinks and everything else. It's, it's all kinds of craziness. And, you know, Karini says she's going down. She's going to file orders against me. Uh, now, I've never hit Karini. I never laid a hand on her, never broke her stuff. Karini's hit me in the past. Karini's broke some of my property. I've never went off on her. I figured she's going through postpartum. It's, it's things that happen. So it's just something that just kind of goes along, and I just kind of let it go because I figured it's on. Now, she's not taking medication. She has tried to commit suicide a few times in the past. She's not taking her medication. I told her, you know, you're going out and doing the stuff, then I'm, I might have to go down and do something where, the, you know, they go give her help because she's not taking her prescribed medications. That's a serious problem, especially when she's suicidal. I mean, it's, it's, it's a big, big, big problem. And yesterday with the son and everything else, you know, I don't like my son being there. I don't, I've known where my son is. I don't, I know, I know the guy, she's, the son's around. I don't like him around, um, at all whatsoever. But, you know, it's like, everyone's like, what are you going to do? So the first thing I got to clean up this, this blue, blue di- hair dye everywhere. Uh, I got to go in there and clean yeah, up what's the hair dye. What's the hair dye? Like, and like, that, she like, has, like, I don't understand that. that. She has black hair. Karini has solid black hair, and they told her when she tried to go pay and get it dyed before, you can't dye it. They dyed a streak of hair blonde, so she looked like Rogue. Um, and so she apparently, I guess she either tried to dye her hair black, or, I mean, I, I, I'm surely she didn't try to dye Pierre's blonde hair blue. Surely she wouldn't do that. I mean, she absolutely, possibly, surely she'd do that. If she did that, we're going to have some problems. But uh, surely, I guess she just tried to dye her own hair blue. And that's, uh, I'm hoping that's all that happened. But, I mean, blue just everywhere. I guess she thought I was going to freak out because I got messages, you know, and then I got home, and then I found the whole thing with Blake. She told my mom, sorry, I'm leaving, bye. And my mom was like, what's going on? I was like, I got home. I was like, she moved out. I was gone. I came home. She moved out. She's over with Blake. She wants to have a new life with him. I was like, she's spending Christmas with him. We're not going to see Pierre on Christmas. Uh, it's just mind-boggling to me. The whole thing is just mind-boggling. And it's like, you're a bad husband. I was like, I'm a bad husband. I'm a, I'm a bad father. When you were getting the tattoo, I had the baby. Well, you're over there the first time with, with him. I had the baby. He was hungry for breast milk. But I'm the bad one. It's just just nuts. But originally, I think he just wants to be on TV. I think all it is, he wants to be on television. He's really hungry to be on TV, wanting to film, wants to be on the show. It's all about that. And if you notice on her posts, over the years, there's things for a place called Monster Maker, trying to ask people to send him money. He's had Karini make posts over the years. And go on her Instagram and look. There's a, a, a post back in like 2016, 2017, where she's posting for somebody asking everyone to send money. Um, so he's done several posts, other posts she advertised in the past, where she's advertising for people that are like company hours and stuff that are friends of him. So it's like, why are you doing this? Effort? I thought you all didn't talk anymore. And then, of course, now, you know, she said, I'm paranoid. She moved in with him, you know. Um, so she, she moved in with him tonight. Like that, it's like that whole scene. Gone. Like, he's uh, not here, man. Her and the baby are gone. They're gone. Like, they're they gone. They're going to over there. They're gone. Like when, like today, like yes, last night when? No, well, when was she moved out? I mean, I came home from the store. I found it looked like somebody killed a damn Smurf in the bathroom, and then, uh, I, you know, she's gone, completely gone. Hey, yeah, like just now, he went to the store, and now oh. she's gone. Like went to go it's get a few hours. Like, a few hours. I mean, I had to come back because this guy's a friend of one of my ex girlfriends and everything else. So I came home. I don't like them having access to my house because she's got house keys and stuff. So I had to change the locks, everything else. Um, cause I don't want this dude randomly coming in my house. You know, if she wants to come here, she can, she can come here with the police anytime, do whatever she wants to do. That's totally fine. But I don't want this random dude coming to my house anymore. I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't like him since he was talking about being a swinger and having a baby and stuff like that. I just, that's when I was like, okay, he's not a friend and she's got friends and there's friends in this. And she's had friends in Louisville. that are actually in this chat. Cause I saw one of them earlier. They're in this chat. So she has female friends here. She says, I have no friends. I have nobody. That's not true. She has several friends. She has uh, two people that are make- makeup artists that are her friends. She's got other friends, you know, uh, another friend that's known me and a few other people, you know, reached out to her. Uh, some Brazilians here, really good Brazilians, church-going people. They're friends with her, 
and I took her over there and see them. I said, anytime you want to see them, that's fine. Go with them. But this guy who's talking about this stuff, I think it's inappropriate. I don't like it. Hang on to people. She says, I have no friends here. That's not true. She has tons of friends. There's like I said, the Brazilian couple out in Middletown. There's great people. She bought some cleaning supplies from them, wonderful people. But then she's hanging out with this dude secretly, you know, and then I get upset about it. And then she gets everything else. And then she came in and tried to do some wild stuff. I've been sitting on the couch for like four days. Uh, so she came back in here and tried to do some stuff with me on the couch after she spent the night with, well, she spent the day with him after that too. She comes in here and tries to mess with me on the couch in the morning. I'm like, no, I'm not in the mood to have, you know, do anything right now. It's the morning. I just woke up. And why are you trying to do something now? I'm sleeping on the couch for like, you know, like at least four days. Um, and then I, I thought, oh yeah, she just spent the time with Blake at the, after the tattoo. Then we got the tattoo. God knows what happened. But like I told him, I told Blake, I was like, look, you know, we're definitely doing a DNA test. I said, yeah, we're definitely doing a DNA test. I was like, we'll do the DNA I mean, Paul, did you, like, call the, like, a lot of people are saying this in the comments. Like, did you call the cops at all? Because, no. like, she, like, no. like, she kidnapped I, your child. Like, like I, I don't know. I mean, technically here in Kentucky, I mean, she has equal rights to the child. So if I, if I had the child or she has a child, whoever has a child, you can't really call, I guess, can't even on it. I um, mean, I can try because she, she is was suicidal. She went to Our Lady of Peace. She told them she wanted to kill herself. Um, she gave her medication. She's not taking her medication. She stopped going to her counselor. She stopped going to the marriage counselor. She stopped going to her, her personal counselor. She stopped going to the, uh, the the hospital that's supposed to be the mental health hospital. She's not taking her medication, not doing any type of therapy. This guy has gotten into her head. I mean, it's just a whole other thing. Like I said, he's just posting stuff for her, and now she's gone. I mean, with, with the dude – Totally gone. He wants to spend a long time with her. Now he's moved in with her. Um, they have like, like she moved into his apartment or house. No, or he's got a bigger house. house. They said the day. So why'd you go to the house? I mean, what are you doing there? You having sex? Like, oh no, no, no. He just wants to show me how nice a house he has. So why? <laughs> I was like, I was like, how is this okay? As if it was me, you wouldn't be okay with it. She got kind of quiet. It's like, you just went over. It makes no sense. Oh no, I just hit one Pierre's toys, man. That's, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna break it down in tears later. But you know, it's just shocking. You know. I, I, She's been sneaking around with him, and now she just literally moved out with him. You know, uh, utterly, utterly mind boggling. Just totally, just mind blown um, that this has happened. You know, I, I usually I don't, I don't, we don't get along. We fight. Me and you, me and you have issues in the past, and I'm like, I have nobody right now. We're friends. Everybody knows our relationship. Like that's who we are. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's Sean and Paul. Everyone says, "Oh, you hate Paul." I'm like, "No, I don't. I like him yeah. some days. I don't like him." Yeah, some I mean, days. we had some problems in the past, and I'm sure I'll get an angry phone call. But um, the whole thing with you know with Karini and this whole thing with him and this guy, it's like, you know, I, I want her to have friends. I want her to have friends. I want her to go out and do stuff. I want her to socialize and and be okay. I, I really want that. And anyone that's just hung out with her here knows I, I I'm totally for it. I'm you, can we hang with Karini? Absolutely, no problem. But she really doesn't want to. She doesn't want to hang out with anybody. And then she goes out with this guy behind my back and then moves in with the guy. And, like, me and Blake are going to go file for custody for Pierre. I'm like, okay, so you and Blake are going to file custody for Pierre? Okay, fine. So, like, is all her stuff gone, too? Like, she just left, left like, the blue hair dye on the on the tile floor in the bathroom? And, like, she didn't take everything. And... She didn't take everything. So I'm sure she's going to be coming back. Um, I'm positive she might get her stuff. Like I said, she wants to come back. We'll have a police officer come in with her. She can get her stuff. But I'm not having this guy come to my house anymore. Last time, this guy randomly showed up with his son, and they were, like, sitting here on the couch and stuff. And he's like, I didn't know you were going to be here. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. So it was well, just kind of – Why would you let like, Karini hang out with, like, a guy who was, like, into her? Like, I wouldn't let that – I would be, I like, tried. But, you know, everyone's like, I'm, I'm so controlling, and I'm, you know, I'm going to go off and do something. Go nuts and, like – I'm too easy going. It's like, okay, and then this happens. I mean, I've had stuff in the past where we've had – me and Chris had problems in the past. I've got messages from wives and all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to get into it. But we've had some very bad stuff. And she said, oh, you know, Paul, I've changed. I've changed. I'm a different person now. I don't do that no more. I'm loyal. I'm faithful, and I'm not going to cheat or anything like that. It's okay. You're changed. You're not that same girl anymore. Wonderful. All right, let's move on with the marriage. And then I, I come – I'm dealing with this. You know, uh, I'm sitting here in my house on Christmas next to the tree, you know, with all Pierre's <laughs> gifts down there. She has gifts down there and everything. Um, That's don't. sad. You know, it's just, it just sucks, man. It really, really sucks. And she's going to make me out to be this evil, bad person, but it's like I, anything she wants, I buy. I buy her everything she wants. Anything she wants, she gets. I put my stuff on the back burner. There's a lot of stuff I want to get, but I don't get because I make sure she gets her stuff first. I mean, dude, she's been eating red lobster the last three days. She spent, you know, eating lobster from red lobster the last three days. You know, I eat chicken sandwiches from McDonald's or Burger King. I get the heck of the two for six, man. That's my thing. I get two for six. I'll eat one for lunch, one for dinner. I'm, I'm pretty simple. 
You know, I mean, I know she gets, she likes it and everything else, but it's like, man, you know, it's just, it's just really, really uh, depressing. You know, right before Christmas, though, she's going to move out and move in with him right before Christmas. Um, leave me with this big, massive house. My mom is sad and depressed. My dad's in shock. You know, all my family is confused. You know, they thought everything was great. Cause we were there visiting the other day, and, you know, she was drinking her wine. She seemed happy. And then, you know, today she moves in with another dude. My mom was just, like, that's so rough, confused. Like, like, I don't know. That's, 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 this is a crazy story, man. This is... <sighs> Yeah, it's what happened with the live last night with the tattoo and the ointment and all that and all that. Shit? Happened was the tattoo artist gave her specific instructions to leave this thing on for a week. Blake told her to rip it off, and you don't need to do any of that stuff. You don't need to worry about that. Don't do it. So he told her that the tattoo artist knew what he's talking about. Said you know he don't always do his mom. And this guy was actually in. He showed me uh, magazines. He was in a tattoo magazine. He has some awards, and I'm like okay. So guy, yeah, also knows what he's talking about. Okay, he's, he's done some good work. Okay, fine. So you know, you listen to what he says. It was some kind of sp something derm. It was like a special, like second skin bandage. You see, leave it on for seven days. Uh, well, Blake told her you don't need to do all that. Da 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 da. So she rips it off. And I'm like, you got it. You have no lotion, no cleaner, no thing. I need to go to the store. So I went to the store, got the stuff. She's like, I don't need to do any of that. I'm like, it's frustrating, man, because I don't want to get an infection. You know, I'm, I know I'm not her dad. I know I'm her husband, and you know, I, I don't want to me that controlling person but uh you know i just i, I want to make sure she you know doesn't get an infection and she's okay and that she doesn't have to suffer uh, i do everything i can so she don't suffer you know like i said in, in the past when she got mad she's hit me did i hit her back no she's broke my stuff did i break her stuff or get mad and hit her no absolutely not and i have videos recording evidence of this of things like this has happened i've recorded it and it's like four she's getting mad and go must i would you know I, I found the best deterrent was turn on the phone and start recording so I would start recording. Now, I didn't used to go live. I didn't do the lives. I would just hit record. I would take my camera out, hit the record button, and then things de-escalated pretty quick. Uh, now, like in Brazil, her mom could kind of get involved and deal with it and everything else. And she could she go off in Brazil. I'd go get her family. I'd go down to her brother's house. I'm like, dude, Karini is out of it. Will you please go talk to her. Uh, you know, and I stay at the hotel. And so I was in Brazil. I stayed at the, uh, a hotel by myself. God, like at least at least like probably four nights. Four nights, I end up going to a hotel because I don't fight. I don't argue. I just go. I, just, I literally go. I, I walk through the ghetto, <laughs> through that ghetto there, to a little crappy hotel, and I go get a hotel for the night because I'm not going to fight with her. I'm not going to get some domestic violence and get arrested in Brazil. I'm not dealing with that stuff. Or she hits me and accuses me or something like that. I just go to the hotel. I lay down. I go to sleep in the morning. Hopefully, things forget things out. And this whole thing with, with this guy, and, you know, it's just, it's just sad. You know, he's going to take my wife and child before Christmas. Um, and I don't know why Karini's like suicidal. Like, aren't you like a little bit worried that like she had your child, your son, and she's out with some fucking stranger? Like, yeah, and I can go, Christmas? I can go to the courthouse and I can file stuff tomorrow. I know that they're going to try to file domestic stuff on me. She, this is her claim of domestic violence. She says that I'm verbally abusive and that is domestic, you know, like a really bad domestic violence. Like, I'm not really, I get upset every now and again and I'm very vocal, yes, but I, I I'm, I'm not abusive i don't physically hurt or anything like that i speak my mind i i don't pull punches that's true i'm very 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 blunt i speak you know very fluently how i feel and what i'm feeling um but she is you know apparently going to say that you know and, and here i mean they're going to ask the judge is going to ask what's going on have you hit her has he hit you no never hit her Never broke her stuff, never any of that. She can say that clearly too, okay? Um, you just like before, I t you know, I've, I've taken her down to other places. I mean, I was stupid. I showed her where the domestic violence entity was. Uh, I, I freaking, uh, you know, one time she started threatening, saying I feel threatened. I was like, okay, I called the cops, come out and talk to my wife. She said she feels threatened. And she, she talked to him, she said everything was fine. It's like, you know, I, I'm not hiding anything like that. I've told her, if you have a problem, call 911. You know, just do that. But now apparently they're going down there to file for full custody. They're going down there. Um, who, to do, who, Karini do, do, do. and this guy Blake are going to, to file custody. Well, apparently, you want them to file for divorce and custody and all this other stuff. Uh, so it's just like, you know, and it's like Brazil. She started in the Brazil. She started talking about divorce here back, and everyone remembers the divorce thing. Me and her talking about divorce. She started Blake here. American, right? He's from like. Uh, yeah, he's American. Yeah, okay. she talked about divorce before he went on the Brazil trip. Then we're in Brazil. She's like, I want to do divorce and everything else in Brazil. And then we got back, and now it's all over again. It's divorce, no divorce, divorce, no divorce, divorce, no divorce, divorce. Okay, she says divorce now, and she's living with another guy at his house. I'm, you know, I don't know how welcome I'm going to be about working on the marriage now, dude. I mean, every time she says I want divorce, she's like, okay, I don't want divorce anymore. Okay, cool. 
but now you're staying the night with another dude with my son at his house? That's not okay. That is not okay. You know, I mean, I'll be the best looking guy, but I'm the father of that child, you know? I mean, I got a Christmas tree here. I bought all these Christmas presents for me and my mother. Me and my mother bought all these presents, you know? And now my son is at this random dude's house, and he's just spending Christmas with this guy, you know? Uh, but, you know, Karini's like, Paul, you're bad. I'm like, okay, what, have I, what do I not buy you? What do I not do for you? Yes, I get vocal sometimes. Yeah, I get on Instagram, do some things live. I, I make mistakes. I do. I, I get impulsive and I do things, but I don't physically hurt her. I don't do anything like that. Anyway, this is like my therapeutic thing. You know, I've been trying to call and talk to people, and a lot of people are busy. Um, but That's it's been utterly a nightmare. I mean, with this whole thing, because we've had problems with other guys in the past. We've had other guy situations in the past. Don't get me wrong. Um, but you know, this guy stuck around the longest. Other guys were like here and there, here and there, here and there, and they were gone. You know, and then she, she she blocked him. She was done with him, and it was fine. This guy, you know, th those two have been talking nonstop and everything else. You know, apparently, I don't know. So she said something about, you know, getting somebody, one of them getting a matching tattoo or something. I don't know. So if they actually get a tattoo and they get matching tattoos, then I'll be really, 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 really upset because uh, I'm not getting a tattoo anytime soon. But, you know, if that happens, I will just be like, why? Why, why, why? I mean, I've been married to you for several years. You know, I lived in her country. I went up to Tonnenchins. I had a I, my stone. I had a stone get caught in my gallbladder on the way back from Tonnenchins, and I thought I was gonna freaking die, man. That was the most horrible, horrendous pain. I've had kidney stones, and I tell you what, gallbladder stone blocking your thing, uh, that's way worse than my kidney stones I've ever had. And coming back, you know, so I go, I go to your family. I do everything she wants to do. You know, anything money we make, you know, a hundred percent. The, the voodoo comment about the lock of hair. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, there's a thing. No, I can't see the comments right now for whatever reason. I can't see comments. No, the hair is a um, a thing. My mom started me the hair when we went on the first trip. Uh, so the table, when you first up my house, it really is. If you walk in the table, you walk in my house, there's a table right there, right over there. <laughs> there's a table over there, right, the television uh, has that right there. So, um, and that way, you know, my mother and everything. Um, but that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other mess. <laughs> a whole other mess of weirdness. But the hair in this is long, you know, fire and everything else. It's like she got mad when she used to cook. She said I was really rude, rude, and I was a bad husband. When she would cook certain things that was a fire hazard, I would put a fire – I would say, oh, by the way, here's the fire extinguisher. You're being rude. I was like, well, in Brazil, we had a few kitchen fires. <laughs> so, so after a few kitchen fires uh, in Brazil, um, I think it's the best if we uh, go ahead and we have fire extinguishers everywhere in the house. So I have fire extinguishers all over my house. I literally do. After we had a few scares, a little fire scares, you know, I figured better safe than sorry. It's true. I mean, it's funny, but it's true. We've had some fire scares. It's happened. Um, you know, <laughs> I try to laugh and have some fun with it, but yeah. God, Paul, you are, you're, you're, you're Paul. I love you, Paul. Yeah. You are Paul. Yeah. I think you're coming. Like you are. There's no one like you. That's, you are Paul fucking. Yeah, Jay. I think, you're, I think you're, you're your own drummer. You sure do. Totally. Yeah. Are you there? Okay. You're cutting out. Yeah, my mom's blowing me up right now. My mom's called me like five times in a row. Okay. Do you, do you need to talk to her? Do you need to get off? I She's got I the don't... house phone. She probably sees them on the live. She's probably like, get off the live. <laughs> she got a house phone. If she calls the house phone, I'll pick it up. Um, but uh, but no, I mean, it's just that's it, man. I mean, I came home and she left. That's the just of what happened. She moved out with moved in this other guy. I said I don't want to hang out with him no more. I don't like the whole swinger thing. I don't like the whole, you know, him talking about having a baby and stuff. I don't like that. Uh, at that point, like I said, she's having other friends here, you know, but this dude just wants to be on television. All he wants is to be on TV. He wants to be famous. That's all it is. You can look at his Instagram profile. You'll figure it out. He wants to promote his band. He wants to promote his stuff. He just wants to be famous. He wants attention. Um, that's all it is. That's when I first found that out. I was like, oh, he just wants to get on TV. He's no threat. He's not going to do anything with Karini. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, I don't need to worry about it. Well, then different parts, you know, he'd message me, oh, yeah, I can, I can take care of that. You're fighting with Karini. I'll make sure she's good to you now. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I'll take care of it. And then next thing you know, Karini's all fixed. I'm like, how are you saying to my wife to make her stop being mad at me? You know, this whole thing was just weird. Everything was just weird with him. Um, but no, I just didn't appreciate Have it. Have you heard from her since left the bathroom in shambles with the blue no. shit all over No, no, there's nothing there. She just, she basically just told my mom and told me that she's living with Blake now. 
She's spending Christmas with him. She's staying with Blake. Um, she's gone, man. She is gone. Totally, utterly gone. So, I'm, I mean, I'm just depressed. I'm here at the house. I'm not going to hurt myself. <laughs> I'm going to clean up this blue dye. I'm going to work on that later. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably go down to the courthouse. I had to change the locks on my house, so I did that already. And then tomorrow, I'll go down to the courthouse and start figuring out what I got to do. Because I tried to look at the emergency. Well, people, people, are asking let, why you're hmm? people are asking why you're not calling the police. Why are you not calling the police? I can't file a court motion or anything until tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, if I call the police and everything and say, well, it's the mother, she's at a friend's house, I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do because she's the mother of the child. I mean, I can try to say she's suicidal. I can call the police and see what I can do. I mean, I can call them and say, look, you know, she is reportedly suicidal. She ran with this dude. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, this is not good. I mean, I could try to call the police. I mean, I could do that here in a little bit and see what they say, see what they do. Um, but – yeah, this whole thing is just just really disturbing. Right before Christmas, though, man. I mean, she could he could wait after Christmas. He could have moved that, in for New Year's. Get up front. I mean, that's not you know in the holiday spirit at all. Guys, this guy is a whole other thing, man. He really is. Lighter hair Take green. My wife uh, before that would have been very poetic for the season. I could <laughs> that would have been it. If you if she left some green hair dye all over that bathroom floor, then like <laughs> I could have done wonders with that caption. Sorry, I know. The Grinch, yeah. Um, now blue hair dye, which made no sense because her hair, she, she didn't bleach her hair. I mean, dude, if, if you got black hair, you can't just put blue hair dye in it. We went through that before and she lost a bunch of hair, but she's got hair extensions and everything else. So, I mean, unless I, I, I pray to God, she didn't do anything with Pierre's hair. I pray to God because if she did, we will have problems. We will definitely have some problems. Then if my hair, my child's hair is anything other than blonde, I'm going to have some, I'm going to have some concerns. And I, I'm going to have some very serious concerns at that point. I'm not going to be happy. So hopefully – I'm hoping it's just her hair, and that that's all she did. And that, that's it. I'm hopefully it's just her hair. It better be. I'm hoping. Because if it's my son's hair, then I'm going to have some problems. Definitely. But no, um, house, like I said, we'll get up here and walk for a second. It's, it's, a, it's a mess. You know, I, I'm, I, but here's the thing we're going to get. I do, all the, I do all the cleaning. I clean. I do all the laundry. I'm in charge of all the laundry. I'm in charge of all the dishes. Um, I'm in charge of making sure, you know, everything is cleaned up, you know, and it's also the diaper. The diaper is dirty. She'll say, hey, the baby pooped. Okay, well, now guess what? She's going to change poop diaper. Blake, unless Blake's willing to change poop diapers, which I don't know, because I always did not change the diapers and everything else. Now I'm the one running around get her food and kissing her, you know, rear end, doing everything for her. And then she's going to go and leave. So, I mean, I mean I'm sure she's going to eventually realize this guy's going to do everything that I was doing, you know, and everything else. But it's, it's frustrating, too, because all of our accounts are everything. Like, now, Trini has her own bank account solely in her name. But my account is joint with her to help with her green card status. But she has access to all my money. So that's not good. Now, I don't have access to her money, but she has access to all my money. So that is one thing that's a little bit nerve-wracking, too. Um, but, yeah, it's just... I'm just looking around here. It's, it's just, it's just I, I just can't believe it, man. For, for Christmas. Are you in the though. bathroom? Can we see it? How are you going to run, run off? You know, a man's going to take a man's wife before Christmas. You know, gifts under the tree. You know, and it's just, I don't understand it. Why? I mean, wait till after Do you Christmas. really leave like a dirty ass diaper? I think you're covering your mic, yeah. your microphone. I can barely hear you. I'm saying, did she like leave that diaper on the um on the floor in the bathroom? Show us the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Man, I was going to pick that up. There's a diaper on the floor here. Oh, wait, one second. Mom, mom's calling. One second. Hey, mom. Yeah. Get off the phone. No. Okay. All right. Uh, she's like, what are you doing? Uh, she's asking, hi, mom. Uh, everything's going to be okay. But yeah, I need to clean this diaper up and throw us away. But uh, no, the whole thing is just upsetting, you know. And that's the one thing over there I can't stand. When you take a diaper off, put it in a plastic bag, and throw it in the trash. You don't throw diapers on the floor. Okay, you don't do that. I don't. I, I don't like when I get up in the middle of the night to the bathroom and I step in a poopy diaper. Okay, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that Imagine at all. Jesus, I got a lot of cleaning to do. Oh. I'm definitely gonna have to. Uh, definitely gonna have to do a DNA test, though. I've already told. Um, I told him that, told her that, though, you know, um, and I swear if anyone asks me why I did DNA test, I'm going to be beyond confused, really, really confused, um, but, man, my mom's blowing me up. <laughs> Pierre's little room back here. We have a whole room to Pierre here. 
crib. Got his little playpen here. You got to flip the phone around. We only see you. Oh, hold on. Yeah. His little... He's got a playpen down been... here. That's his oh, medical insurance stuff. Little playpen. We got his little linkable toys. He likes to play. So, yeah, his toys here. Up there, the pile of stuffed animals. I mean, that's that's so us, right? The stuffed animal are <laughs> pile of stuffed animals. Oh. Yeah, and then she got Mickey and Minnie over here. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, uh, just wow, it's heartbreaking, you know. Um, I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to get it, you know, go to counseling and therapy. Um, that's for sure. But I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. You know, how they would do this to me uh, before Christmas, you know, how they would, you know, she would leave me like this uh, and he would be, he would come get her and do this to me before Christmas. I mean, that um, wait, wait, is not Wait, wait, what cool. happened at the domestic abuse center, that, that picture what? that with Kareem Gary at the domestic abuse center? Oh, that, what was yeah, Creamy like is going to be probably trying, Screen's trying to follow a domestic thing. Um, now, there's no domestic violence. I'm not a threat to her. Now, unless she lies and makes something up, which I don't know. No idea. I mean, Creamy is usually not the lying type, but I mean, maybe she will. I don't know. If she's lied about sneaking around and stuff, but usually on physical stuff, usually she, no, I'll take it back. She did a lot of members. So she told her parents I hit her one time and I didn't. And I looked at her like, that's almost the hotel. I was like, I'm going to the hotel. And I'm going to come back. And she was mad at me. I'm like, I'm not kidding with that. You say I do anything like that and I didn't, I'm leaving. 100% leaving. I don't play that domestic stuff. I've already went through that, and I don't do that. Anything starts to get heated up and it starts to be hitting stuff, she hits me, I leave. I don't fight. I mean, like that. I'll take the punches, I leave. I ain't going into some jail. I ain't getting, you know, thrown away, you know, back behind bars and like that. You can hit me all you want, break my stuff, that's fine. I'm just going to leave, do your stuff, you leave, I go back, everything's fine. Um, so you weren't there with her when she was there. That was somebody else that took the photo. That was huh? Who who was with her at that? Who, who took that picture? It's such a weird picture to take because it's her smiling yeah. online at a domestic violence center, like where it says like warrants, and then like here's yeah, this. she's wanting to go down there and do this whole thing. So I'm not sure exactly who's taking her down there or what she's going to do with that. I'm not sure exactly what all she's going to do with that when she's you know like I said when she's down there. Um, it's. It's beyond me. It, it really, really is. Uh, I mean, if she wants to go down and try to file domestic, you know, file the custody battle, do all this stuff. Um, apparently, she said Blake's helping her with helping her with a lawyer, so they're going to work on the whole divorce thing and the custody thing and all this stuff. But like, man, she's doing this for Christmas, man. She's doing this, you know, literally just for Christmas, and it's just like could have waited, you know, wait till like, me, mom, my dad, everyone can enjoy the days with with Pierre. You know, had a good time. Um, but no, she decided she wants to spend Christmas with Blake um, over with him. So she's over in Blake's new house with Pierre. They're going to have Christmas over there. Um, she doesn't want to have Christmas with me. She doesn't want to have Christmas with my family. So it's not my family, not her family. She's like, I miss my family on Christmas. And she goes out and <laughs> stays living with this new guy. You know, um, it's rough, man. It's really, really rough. And now I got to go down and maybe start doing the court stuff tomorrow. And it's going to be really, really, really nightmarish. You know, like I said, I know I'm not the best looking guy. You know, I do what I can. I make money. You know, I do what I can to make money. I get everything, you know, best I can. I pay for everything. Creamy's big thing is, you know, I told her to just concentrate on the baby. Now, Creamy doesn't have her house diploma yet. She's got to do five, like, little tests. So five okay. tests, like, five weeks, and she has a diploma. I did tell her. Whenever she's in Brazil, to please go ahead and do that. Um, so she go to college here. She can go to the college program, take you know ESL class, something like that, and, and better herself. Um, you know, and a lot of people have reached out to her too. And I told her if she wanted to do some different types of work, things like that, that's entirely to you. But I mean, right now I'm making enough money uh, to where I'm able to support and do everything here. I'm you know I'm paying for a place in America. I'm paying for a place in Brazil. It's rough. It's very very rough, and it's very very tight. You know, financially. You know, especially trying to do two places, and we're only living in one at a time. Um, it's it's difficult. It it really 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 is. Um, but the whole thing with her, you know, coming home to an empty house, man. Everyone's like thinking I'm gonna snap or freak out. He's gonna freak out. He's gonna snap. No, I'm just I'm in shock right now. But uh, you know, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna clean up this mess now. Later on, I'm gonna clean this blue dye off, off the floor and take care of all that. That's my my big thing tonight. Were you guys um, here for? Good? Hopefully, eventually get some sleep at some point. 
I hope to get some sleep. Um, hopefully. And then uh, wake up tomorrow and go to the courthouse, man. Go to the courthouse, start dealing with that stuff. Start, you know, I guess going through the motions, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, I'm just sad. I thought she said she's changed. She wasn't going to do stuff like this anymore. You know, I'm not going to be like this. You know, in Brazil, you know, she went out dancing one time and lied to me. Said she went to a friend's house and found out she was dancing. I went to the club where she was dancing with the guy. They, she, they left. So I went back home and I went back in my in my apartment. I'm like, what am I going to do? How am I going to react? My wife sneaking out going dancing with some random guy. I went to a hotel. I just went to a hotel. I went to a hotel. I said, I'm not dealing with this. So she went out. She came home. I said, where are you at? I said, I'm at a hotel. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not dealing with this. I'm going to the hotel. And that's my big thing, man. It's just like a show, literally. I run away. I walk away. I go somewhere. And maybe chicken coop. Might be the woods. Might be my dog house. Might be some random in the house. You know, um, I'm going somewhere. I might go out to the woods. I might go for a hike. You know, I'm probably going for a hike or spending time with my dad. I'm probably going to spend a lot of time with my dad. Honestly, I'll probably go with my dad, spend time with him, work with my dad. You know, I'm probably going to be, like, attached to my dad at the hip right now. Um, until the stuff works out. And my dad's a very good man. He's very knowledgeable. Uh, he knows everything really well. So uh, I'll definitely be spending some time with him and hopefully, you know, getting some good advice. But, yeah, it's sad. You know, this one t table I have here, he's taking pictures of mine. She had knocked over, and I started picking things up. And there's still one picture down here. It's not there. Let me pick it up. She knocked, she knocked this picture on the ground. This one here. I just picked it up. It's a picture of Pierre. I said, why would you knock that on the ground? I don't get it. So I'm going to put this one back up here, back on the little table here. You can see the, the thing here. All these things were knocked over. This house is a utter mess. The whole place here is a mess. Um, but, yeah, we have positivity. I mean, Sharp sent us a um, a uh, popcorn maker, which we were happy about. Uh, Karini's been bitching about getting a hot popcorn maker for a while, and I was going to go buy her one. I was literally going to go to the store and buy her a popcorn maker. I really want that popcorn maker. It's fine. Gotta go buy one. Next thing there was a FedEx box out front. We opened it up and it's a popcorn maker from Sharp. I was like, it's perfect. I don't have to go buy it now. That's awesome. That turned out perfectly. <laughs> so that worked out okay. But no, I gotta clean up, do all this stuff. The baby's got health insurance. You know, I took care I took care of getting the baby sure the baby had health insurance and everything. Um and doing all this stuff. And I I make sure I do everything I possibly can to make sure Karini and Pierre have the best life. Uh, but she's gonna up and leave me and move in with another man, you know, right before Christmas, you know, and it's, and he's like, mess me, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You do, you going to come at me? And I'm like, no, I'm just going to go to court. <laughs> I'm just going to go to court on this, do everything legal. I'm not doing any stupid stuff, man. I'm going to go down to court. I'll follow the motions. I'll do what needs to be done. But uh, I'm not going to be, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing any crazy stupid stuff. My past is my past. It forever stays there. I'm not ever dealing with anything like that ever again. I've, I've learned the hard way and not dealing with it. Um, I get frustrated every now and again. Yeah, I get vocal. You've seen it in my life, man. I get vocal. I'm like, da, 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 da. I get vocal. I get vocal. I do. I speak my Very mind. Vocal. I do. I speak my mind. I get vocal. I think I've got four words in this whole live. Yeah. I said, I think I've got four words in this whole life. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm just really stressed out. I, me and you don't get along, man. Me and you don't get along oh typically, and I just want to vent. So I'm venting. I just came home, my wife leaving me before. Because if anybody calls me and says, why are you talking to me? It's like, I just literally had no one to talk to. My wife left me before Christmas with my baby. I mean, if you come home for Christmas to a tree full of gifts, and your wife leaves you with your baby goes to have Christmas with another man at his house, you know, yeah, you're going to rant, and you're going to vent. But I'm sorry. you got to go ahead and... Say something you can. I really don't know what to say. I, uh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I like I, I I'm you, you, I'm good. I think you spoke enough for both of us. I really do. I think that we're good. Oh man, the bathroom here. I don't know anything. How I'm gonna stuff up there? I got. I literally tell you what, man. I went to Walmart. I spent two hundred dollars in random cleaners. Uh, I got so many cleaners. I'm gonna try. If you can see it, it's all over, like everywhere in here. Everywhere. There's even the duckies. You got you got pound of ducks and everything. I don't know how how she even got this much. I mean, it looks like I killed. It literally looks like a swarm of slaughter. It's up on the walls. It's all over the baby toys. It's all over the floor. It's on the seats. Like, what was walls? Doing, like, it's everywhere. And, and, and what, while she was, like, what I, was yeah, I don't like, know. Ooh, like Kyle Richards, like just whipping it around. Like, something. She something. Was, she went all around something with her hair because it looks like she went in there and just like sacrificed a, a Smurf or something. I don't know. No idea. 
I mean, it's just blue everywhere. I'm looking at it like, all right, I got to clean this up. I'm not going to get mad. Getting mad ain't going to fix the problem. Uh, crying ain't going to fix the stuff. Cleaner hopefully will. I got everything from bleach to acetone to magic marker eraser. Dude, I got so many different cleaners. I buy little in the shelf and just got this, 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 you know, and uh, I don't know. I'm hoping either bleach or the acetone or something will take it off. I don't know. Or the magic eraser. I don't, I don't know if anything's going to take it off. That's a lot of blue. I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, I hope I don't know if that's safe as toys. His Pierre sticks those toys in his mouth. I don't know if I, if he ever comes back and uses toys again. I don't know. I don't know when they're going to come back. If they're going to come back, it's mind boggling to me. You know, Pierre stuff's here. You know, I mean, all of his toys are here. I guess the old guy didn't have room for his toys. I don't know, but I don't know. Yep. So, okay. uh, me and you don't get along. I usually don't talk to you. Uh, for other reasons we went through, we, we don't. We didn't. We stopped talking for a while because uh, we had some some issues. Uh, but yeah, dude, uh, pretty messed up tonight. Pretty pretty screwed up. So I mean, I, I mean, everyone's like, why'd you change the locks? Like, I don't want that dude having my key. If she wants to come here and come in here with the police officer, I have no problem with that whatsoever. No problem. I don't want that dude in my house anymore. Every time she comes over, he comes walking to my house and stuff. I don't like it. No, I wouldn't want the um, married mistress's whore coming over to my house to procreate with my husband while I wasn't off. <laughs> no, that's just me. Call me old-fashioned. Go get a motel if you're going to cheat on me. Yeah. I don't Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. Hopefully, um, I'll get to see my son. I'm hoping at some point, I know that she's staying with her Christmas. I'll follow motions. I don't know how many weeks, how long it'll take for the courts to um, – you know, give me some type of custody where I can go get him. But, I mean, as of right now, you know, she's keeping the ba- Pierre over Blake's, you know. Um, I guess Blake's helping her with the kid, apparently. I don't know. I did pretty much everything here but breastfeed. So, I don't know. I have no idea uh, what's what's going on. I can't breastfeed, man. <laughs> I mean, I thought about getting that little thing where they got the, put the breast milk on it, and like the man boob thing, you, sure and try that. I was going to try that, but I didn't ever actually do it. And he really likes the natural warm breast anyway. So, I didn't even go for that one. Yeah, I got my tree up here, though. Um, no, I really did zip tie the star up there, though. I got so frustrated. She got mad at me about that. And it's like, it's talking falling off. See, I'll fix it. It's like, I'm done. We were messing with me long. I went up there with zip ties. I zip tied that sucker up there. I was like, we're done. It's good. He's fun. I probably should clip the lens off of it, though. That probably would have been a good idea. But, uh, no, I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm here now. I'm just like, Christmas, presents, parents, no wife, no baby. You know, I don't. I guess this dude has a Christmas tree. Maybe he's going to go out and give him presents. I don't have no idea. Maybe he's all the presents she needs. I have no idea. I have no idea just really depressed and I'm very disappointed right now. I'm extremely, extremely disappointed. I can't believe I, this happened. I can't believe I'm talking to you. I was like, I'm probably never going to do another live with Yates ever again. And then it's like, here, uh, we, are. here we are. The real Christmas <laughs> miracle, Staley, isn't it? Look at that. See, like, what? There are Christmas miracles. Look at us. You know, it's, 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 and this stuff's been going on, you know, when this the first couple times she did stunts like this, I was really upset, man. I started crying. I got mad. I, I was upset. I freaked out. But it's like, this has happened so many times in the past. But, like, this is, like, the first time, like, she actually, like, took the off with the baby. Before and stuff, something like this has happened in the past. And she said she changed. Never happened again. Never going to happen again. And now she's gone. She's gone with the baby. It's like, what more can I salvage at this point? I mean, what more? She's swearing up and down, you know, all this other stuff, you know, over there with him. It's like, oh, well, you know, we're not doing anything sexual. I was like, um, pretty sure you are. <laughs> but he positive. You know, I had some evidence on that. I'm not going dis- to, I'm not going to display the smoking gun of evidence I have, but I'm, you know, I have pretty good evidence to, to say the contrary. Um, and I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, cause I don't want to, you know, totally, totally, you know, release, embarrass her online in that regard. But I mean, there's, it's obvious that they have been doing stuff. So it's very frustrating. Um, anything else? I, I I don't know what else. I, I, have, I have I'm surprised this thing hasn't cut off yet. It's surprised it's, it's been an hour. I don't know how it hasn't cut off. I keep waiting for the timer. Huh? Still haven't, the timer still hasn't popped up yet. I keep waiting. For <laughs> it's mind boggling. I mean, I gotta be careful what I say, even though this is kind of this. This is obviously. 
you know, just all random stuff. But I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I had to vent. I had to vent out a little bit. Uh, just, I mean, your wife leaves you for Christmas and makes you a little kind of like out there, you know. Dang, man. Now, just don't go taking pictures with Karini at the Olive Garden tomorrow when y'all made up. Because, <laughs> you know. Dude, I mean, I've always took her back. I've always took her back and says, hey, um, no, Blake's not in Lexington. Blake actually lives within, the, like, within two, two or three miles of my house, apparently. So Blake lives very close to me. Pro I mean, I would say probably for Karini walking distance. Um, someone sent a message. I was Blake in Lexington. He's like, no. He just has a band. He wants to be famous. Um, he actually lives pretty close to where I'm at. So, you know, it's I mean, they started talking before we even got married. But I, I, I just try to like maybe spray and everything else. And I'm really laid back. I want to have friends. I want to talk to people. But he just always seemed off and seemed like it was a problem. And then of course this now. Um, Look, can, David, him. David's plugging your cameos for you, Dave, uh, Paul. Well, David luckily we got the cameos done. We got the cameos David done for the store. So for the store. Karina's like, I'm going to get the cameos done. I was like, you want to, I want to get all the cameos done before I go to the store. So Karina's like, let's get the cameos done. Okay, fine. So we do all the cameos before I go to the store. Because she knows the cameo money is what pays for a lot of stuff she likes to get. Because all the money goes into the joint account. So I was like, okay, we'll go and do your cam we'll do the cameos. So we do all the cameos. I go to the store. I come back. She's gone. And it looks like someone swatted a smurf in my bathroom. So, Jesus. We just have that the best just people bad. around so, I mean, some of us are just all winners, and that's why I, hey, what? I stay interested in this. Because I can barely hear you. What would you say? I said, this is just some crew of people we got here. So, it's just, you know, you guys always keep me on my toes. Always. Have Dude, to I, I, I always take her back. Like, yeah. I've always took her back. When something went bad in the house, I took her back. Everything is fine, 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 fine. But it's like, you're sleeping at another man's house now. I, how am I supposed to react to that? <laughs> Honestly, I went to the store. I came back. My wife's sleeping at another guy's house. You know, it's like she's staying there. Took the baby, left. Not coming back anymore. She, you know what she told my mom? I kid you not, she told my mom, she's following her dreams. She's following her dreams. She wants to follow her dreams. Now this is her time. I'd love to know what her dreams are, because up until yesterday, I thought it was having a family here with me. So, and all of a sudden, now she's got a whole new dream and a whole new goal and a whole new thing she wants to do. But yesterday, we were fine. With my mom's house, there's my parents, we're laughing, we're playing. You know, going out, everything like that. I got her red lobster. Everything was fine. And then, uh, yeah, and you know what the therapy? You know what we saw going to marriage therapy counselor? We went to marriage counseling. And the marriage counselor even told me privately that she was gaslighting me. He's like, do you understand what that is? And he explained to me what it was. I'm like, okay. All right. So when, they, when Karini wasn't getting all the, you know, people, you know, telling her she's 100% correct and telling her where she's wrong, she didn't like that. And so oh, I'm not going. talking. That's why you can't hear me. Sorry. Go ahead, Paul. Do what? Interrupt. I didn't... No, go ahead. Keep, keep talking. Oh. No, and that's why she stopped going to a lot of therapy because a lot of times she wasn't hearing from the therapist. And she had three different people she was talking to. Three different therapists. We had a marriage therapist. We had a one-on-one -on -one therapist and another therapist for her. And she was talking to three different people. And then she didn't like what she was hearing from them. And so she stopped going. You know? And she just – I don't understand a lot of things. Like her mom – it was, her mom was wonderful. Grasselini is awesome. Because a lot of times, Grasselini, when she understands that she's in the wrong, she sets her straight. I, I'll say that. When when I'm in the wrong, her mom will tell me typically I'm wrong. But, you know, I have to explain to her. We explain, okay, what's going on? I explain to her. Because right now, she's not telling any of her family she's moved out. She's not telling them, apparently. And I've told them, hey, can you move out? They're like, no, she didn't. She's lying. You're lying. She's, she's living with you at the house. I'm like, no, she's not here. She's gone. Trini has left. She is no longer living here. She's moved out with the baby. Um, and like I said, if she was here, she'd be yelling and screaming and everything else. But mind-boggling to me. It's like me, and I'm in charge of all the dishes, all the laundry, making sure all the bills are paid. I do everything. I do everything here. You know, she took so much stuff for granted. She gets out and does her own thing. She's gonna learn the hard way. You know, she don't pay any bills. She don't. You know, I do the laundry. I do the dishes. I, I like the bathroom here. You know, the cleaning guy is me. So it's my problem. You know, I'll be the one here to clean up this blue dead Smurf crap everywhere. That's, that's my thing. You know, <laughs> that's my thing. I'll be down there. You know, uh, maybe that penis sheath will scrub it up. I don't know. I'll try. I I'll try. Stolen. What happened Do what? to your robbery? Do what? Wasn't your penis sheath stolen in the robbery? One of them was, yeah. One was stolen in the robbery. We had back. two. I had one in Brazil and one in America, yeah. I had two penis sheaths. They stole the one in Brazil, yeah. 
You're always Dude, that whole Brazil thing, man, let me tell you, that Brazil robbery was something else. I went in there, okay, they stole um, oh, so many random things. They stole that digital clock off the wall, the ba digital scale in the bathroom, the microwave. They stole, um, God, what else was it they took? Uh, the vacuum cleaner. Uh, they took a curling iron, the hair, uh, the hair dryer. Uh, they took Sorry? the television. The television made sense. I got the TV. The TV made sense. But they took all the stuff. But they didn't steal my washer and dryer. What they did do was I had like a Costco, Sam's Club, like stockpile. You know me, dude. I stockpile. So I had a stockpile of laundry detergent. They used all my laundry detergent. There was like a little quarter bag where they had left there. So they just used my washer and dryer up to death. They ran my air conditioner until it broke. It cost me, you know, out the wazoo to fix my air conditioner. Um, just like chilling in my house, they apparently. Why they rob you? <laughs> yeah, they were like chilling there too. No, they also add a cell phone on. They use our house phone to add a cell phone on to have their place. Because when Karina was there, she's calling stuff. And she's like, "Oh, you want to do your cell phone?" She's like, I don't have cell phones. Like, yeah, you have cell phones. Like, no, I don't. You can't like, yeah, you do. You add it on your phone. And they mail us some other address. So we're dealing with you know that whole thing. Um, when we go back to Brazil, because they won't do the police report until Karina's there on a scheduled date to file it with the Brazilian police so they can go to the house where they got the – if they're even still living in that address. They may have already moved out. I don't know. Um, but, no, they turned off the power. So I had, like, a my refrigerator, dude. If you imagine a refrigerator for months and months and months with the power off in, like, 100-plus degree weather, it was like an episode opened up like a men in black, man. It was like a whole rainforest in my refrigerator. It was so nasty. Then the, the, the top water tank above my place broke. So it was, like, a, literally, like, poop water coming down the walls on the door. I think I did a video pictures of that. That was so – Nasty. I said, how? And it was going in my power box, coming out my breaker box. Like, how are we not dead? How is things not, you know, on fire? They're lucky at this point. This is insane. So, 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 so nuts. Oh, like, I'm sorry. I could, I could speak. Um, David, I can't plug anything at the moment. Um, I, I did, did get a cameo from David or me or, or Paul or somebody else or anything. You know, I might, I might do that. But maybe Karina will order a cameo from David. You know, maybe I'll order a cameo from David for Karini. I don't know. I'm, I'm seriously considering about it. I might do that. I'll get a hold of David and have him do a cameo, send it out to Karini. Karini's not a big fan of David. Uh, not a huge fan. Um, so, David, is, is uh, that that'd be funny. David? Are you huh? Do what? Is that news to you, David, that Karini doesn't like you? <laughs> I think David might know. He's in the chat room. Dave, right? David talks to me a lot. I talk to David. I talk to several other cast members um, on the regular. And, uh, you know, we all kind of help each other out in our, our times and everything else. But, you know, I hadn't talked to you in a long time. I didn't think I was ever going to talk to you again, to be honest with you. I really didn't. Uh, Here we are. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to my crazy life, man, the circus. Oh, this is I literally know a circus. All about your crazy life. You and she, I think, Karina, I think the biggest thing for like is, is besides postpartum, I think that she actually – um, is mag depresses or bipolar? I don't know because she's happy, sad, happy, sad, like really, really super happy, then like super sad, depressed, want to kill herself. So it's like these emotions are like like that. So I don't know, no idea. Um, I, I, I just don't think I got anything to say. I, I, I don't I'm like I'm speechless. I'm good. <laughs> anything else, Paul? I mean, um, no, I, I just, I'm just like I said, I'm just. Kind of just messed up right now, as you can tell. I'm I'm mentally messed up. I mean, my wife left me for another man a few days before Christmas. Took my baby and bounced. So yeah, I'm ranting a little bit. I'm a little bit off. I'm definitely mentally messed up. I got a headache from talking so much, and uh, yeah, I'm just realizing I'm gonna be spending Christmas alone. So a little well, I'm here sure your mom by myself. Free. Okay. What? I'm sure your mom will keep you company. Oh, well, mom's already said because uh, she's, she's doing this. Mom's going to work at UPS. So mom's going to work at UPS um, and get some extra money from that. She said since Karini's not letting us see the baby on Christmas, she's going to work at her job. I've already talked to her earlier. So, so Karini is going to cut the baby out of your your parents' lives and your family's lives too. She's going to. I'll see him probably out. like once a month. That's my guess. Are you guys here for good? Like, is that do what? Like, did you guys move here? Like, did you guys move here for good, or do you are were you going back to? Brazil? Oh no, no, no! I mean, Karini has never been sure of where she wants to live at. She has no idea. She'll say, "I want to live here. I want to live there. I want to live in America. I want to live in Brazil." Um, she don't know and until she knows. I mean, dude, I'm paying for two places. I got a place in Brazil, and a place here. It's not cheap. Until she makes up her mind where she wants to be, which she hasn't. I'm not going to be able to um, to do anything. I can't. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. You know, I was paying for both places, and 
trying to keep her happy because I've given them a place up. It's like, oh, I want to move back there. It's like, well, I've got to have a place lined up, a place for us to go. Hmm. So, uh, all right, I guess you should clean that bathroom up. I mean, that blue dye is just going to get worse. Yeah, it's already dried in. I'll start cleaning on that. I'm surprised the timer never came on. I'm really shocked. Guys, it's horrible down here. Comet. I wish I had a security camera in here to see exactly what the hell happened. I mean, I've seen people dye their hair, but I don't see how the heck this went everywhere. Lines, walls, the duckies, the towel, the floor, everything. My God. Now, when she did that, Blake was with her, so... So Karini did like that Smurfette murder scene in the bathroom, and then like Blake and her took off with the kid, and that's it. Like he was definitely with her when she. Left. I wasn't here. I have no cameras in the house, so I can't one hundred percent say I know that she's with him in his house now. She's living with him now, with my baby. So she's not coming back. She's in plan coming back. I'm assuming at some point she's got to come back and get some of her stuff. She still got stuff here. Still baby stuff here. She's got to come back at some point. Um, and get her stuff, but no, she really wants to follow her dreams and have a life with Blake. I mean, that's just her dream. This is her goal. Um, so I don't know. I mean, could Karini talk? I mean, in the past, Karini would talk to several people at one time, and I would, you know, catch her and do it, and then she said, I'm done, I'm done, no more, no more, no more, and then now this. I come home it to like uh, a I totally was... trashed up, empty house. When we got back, it was actually – Really nice looking in here. My mom helped out. We got things cleaned up real good. And uh, But I clean the house every day. If I don't stay on it and clean this house every day, it gets messy real fast. Real, real fast. Well, you guys always haven't had the most immaculate scenes you what? When, uh, when you've gone hmm? live. You guys always haven't had the most immaculate of houses when you guys have gone live <laughs> a, a few times. No, it's, it's, it's like, are we watching Hoarders or not any fiancé? You know, it's just, and yeah, you know, we've had some pretty nasty places. We've had times when they wouldn't, you know, they probably felt it was sanitary, not sanitary for them to even enter the home. Um, but that was way back in Brazil. In Brazil, we had all kinds of problems before there in that place. Uh, America, not so much. Uh, Brazil, yeah. Brazil was probably the worst problems that we had. Usually here, uh, you know, I can usually, if I clean every day, as long as I clean every day, it's not too bad. Uh, now, my mom helped me when we were gone this last trip, and my mom helped us clean the house a lot, and I appreciate her for it. Got home. The house looked really nice. God bless her. I uh, really appreciate all that she did on that. Uh, she didn't have to do that, but she did. So I appreciate mom for doing that. Um, but, yeah, I'm just kind of, like, in shock now. Oh, I do have Pierre's American passport. It looks like she – I think she got the Brazil passport, but I do have Pierre's American passport. It's not going to do me any good because she don't need that one. When she goes back to Brazil, she needs a Brazilian passport, so that's not going to do me any good if and when she decides to ever do that. Man. Where this stuff is, I don't even know. Let's see what all's here, see what all's missing. I'm not even sure. I haven't gone through the inventory yet. Just in shock, man. Like, did she take the, the fine china and, like, the jewelry? That's hmm? what you got to look for first. Did you take the fine china and the jewelry? No, I haven't found china. My, my, all, my, all my china in there is plastic dishes from Walmart. Uh, I'm just honest. Uh, let me see here. Jewelry-wise. No, her jewelry thing's here, it looks like. I think. I'll go look in it. Looks like it's here. That's what I would grab first. I mean, it's nothing really expensive in it, though. I mean, it's nothing really expensive in a jewelry box. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's here. It looks like that's there. It's like her jewelry stuff there. So, I mean, she's got. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm surprised she didn't take it with her. I guess she just kind of like bounced real quick. She thought I was gonna come back and go nuts. So I guess you know Blake's convinced her to go down file court order, come back with police. Had the police here helping her get her all her stuff, move out. Please. You know, that's probably gonna be tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is probably gonna be the police department here helping Karina get out of the house. Whatever else she wants to get here, that's probably gonna be tomorrow. That's my guess. Is I'll be down there at the courthouse and then, you know, police and everything else. Well, Paul, I, I, I hope this shit works out for you. Like, honestly, I really do. I still care about you, even though me and you have not seen eye We've had eye our times, so man. Things. You know, normally I wouldn't talk to you, like but I'm really, really psychologically I'm messed up here. Uh, like I said, I came home to my wife leaving me before Christmas. So anybody asked, man, you went live with John. You just rambled on and on. You went crazy. It's like, well, yeah. 
anybody is in need the therapy you need to speak some mind off their chest and they come home you know a couple days before Christmas and your wife's gone with the baby I could I would be upset too I mean yeah. I've, I've gone crazy on lives although I, I think you might have me beat on every level that I've ever gone on but that's okay <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I have no idea. I'm surprised this thing hasn't I'm really shocked this thing hasn't had a little, little timer come up yet I'm very very shocked <laughs> man. I think the timer came up a long time ago <laughs>